Hello, Desert Breeze kids and families. I hope this lesson finds you well. We are on our week two lesson of Rahab and the Walls of Jericho. Now, just as a refresher, do you do any of you remember how Rahab uh, hid Joshua's two spies? <laughs> yep, she hid them uh, on the rooftop and provided kind of that escape way for them um, to hide and to get away from the soldiers looking for them. <laughs> um, and she was able to lower them down outside the wall since her house was part of the wall. So yeah, Rahab hid the two spies. Now, Rahab and her family were needing someone to save them when Jericho was going to fall. Just like how, for us, we need someone to save us from our sins. We'll be going into that a little bit further today, but just um, before we do, let's get into our super truth for today. Our super truth is this. It's through Christ, I am adopted into his family. Through Christ, I am adopted into his family. Through Christ, I am adopted into his family. And that's kind of our super truth for today. And we'll, like I said, we'll be diving in a little bit more. So now let's watch the short version of the video titled Rahab and the Walls of Jericho. If you've already seen it, I want you to notice what the commander of the Lord's army is holding in his hand, as well as also when Joshua's army marched around silently and the men carried the ark, I want you to notice what the other priests were carrying as they marched around Jericho too. So uh, go ahead and click. Once again, the link is in the description uh, for the Superbook video. Uh, it's entitled, the title Condensed Bible Story. So go now. All right, here's some questions. What do you think Rahab was feeling as the soldiers looked through her house for the spies? Maybe a little scared? <laughs> Now, what do you think God chose to use? Why do you think God chose to use, I should say, someone like Rahab, whom others rejected, but yet God used her and, and with Joshua to overcome the walls of Jericho? Hmm. Now, here's the thing. Now, let's watch our Bible background video and learn more about the story of Joshua, Rahab, and the walls of Jericho. Now remember, when Gizmo asks a question on the video, wait until he suggests all the answers. Once he does, call out the answer that you think is the best. Oh, pause moment. Now, go watch the video uh, in the description. It's under Bible background video. Go now. All right. Now, the Bible is full of so many truths, and it's so cool to see how the stories in the Old Testament can have symbolic value to God's redemption plan in the New Testament. Can you guess how the story of Rahab points to Jesus for this signpost video today? Maybe. Now, let's dive into our signpost video and see how the story of Rahab points to, uh, to Jesus. So, pause a moment. Go in the description and watch a signpost, uh, click the signpost video. Go now. All right. So let's say our super truth again. Through Christ, I am adopted into his family. Now, where did Rahab hide the spies again? On the roof. Now, Rahab told them she knew that the Lord was with them and that they had, that the Israelites were gonna have this land. She told him that everyone in, in the city was kind of afraid because they had heard of the miracles that God had performed and the victories that he had given them over their enemies. I mean, if you remember from last lesson, they, there was a, even a lot of miracles and we didn't even name them all. Now, Rahab told them that because all that they had heard, no one had the courage now to fight the Israelites because God protected them. What was the promise God gave Joshua? Do you remember what it was? You can find it in Joshua 9. It says that he will to not be afraid and that God is with him. Now, this is a signpost to Jesus because after Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, he promised to Jesus, um, he promised, uh, not to Jesus, to his followers. <laughs> after Jesus died on the cross, he promised to his followers that and he will always be with them until the end of the world. Now, today we are his followers and he is with us. God protects us and gives us victory over the world through Christ Jesus. Now, that's just one part of the signpost. Now, 
Do you remember what was the promise uh, the Israelite spies made to Rahab? It can be found in Joshua 2, 17 through 20. I know fast fingers if you want to look it up. Now, the promise was to basically let uh, her family, Rahab's family, live. Now, the Israelites kept their promise and, to Rahab and her family, and they were protected from harm when the uh, Israelites conquered Jericho. Now, Rahab and her family were taken to Israel's camp and lived with the Israelites as part of their family. Rahab shared in the blessings of God's people. One of, did you know that one of Rahab's descendants was actually King David? And one of his descendants was Jesus? This means that Rahab was a descendant, um, uh, that uh, Jesus was a descendant of Rahab. That's crazy. All because Rahab was adopted into the Israelites and her family. Now, this is a signpost to Jesus. Now, God planned to bring us to himself through his son, Jesus. Our sins are forgiven when we trust in Jesus, and we are then adopted into God's family as his sons and daughters. Man, adopted. Now, because of this, we share in Jesus' inheritance from God the Father. And that's how something we can praise God for, because through faith in, uh, uh, in Jesus and his blood that he shed, that he shed on the cross, we are rescued from sin and can live a part of as God's family. Now, here's the thing. Now, Joshua trusted uh, in God for help in a very difficult time. And Joshua knew that in his own wisdom and strength, he could not defeat Jericho. It was all by God. So let's say our true super truth again. Through Christ, I am adopted into his family. Through Christ, I'm adopted into his family. And that's our lesson for today. Whew. Now, let's go into our superverse for today. Our superverse is from Hebrews 11.30 NLT translation, and it says, It was by faith the people of Israel marched around Jericho for seven days, and the walls came crashing down. Say it one more time, Hebrews 11.30. It was by faith that the uh, people of Israel marched around Jericho for seven days, and the walls came tumbling down. Hebrews 11.30. Good job, guys. Now, just as an update, um, actually, I'm going to pray, and then I'll give you some important announcement information. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much um, for adopting us into your family. If we believe in you, may we just remember that we are a part of a family, and that we don't need to fear, and that you love us. Help us in our the challenging times that we may have, but may we never forget that you are with us. Amen. All right, guys. So announcements. I got a big announcement here. I know last week's announcement was, hey, the DB Kids app, it's still there. You can go to www.dbkids.org. You can find all the information there. Um, or I'll put the link in the uh, in the description as well for the video of how to get there as well. But we have a new DB Kids app. Um, that was last week's uh, announcement. This week's announcement is we are going to be having a back to school Zoom bash on August 16th. So you want to stay tuned because it's at that meeting that we are going to be uh, giving kind of an outline for this 2020-2021 uh, kind of curriculum for the DB kids. So there's going to be some some special uh, upcoming things uh, that'll be at that meeting. So you can find uh, the Zoom information that'll be on the DB kids website as well as on the app. And I'm sure we'll be announcing in church as well. So anyways, guys, just know that those are our two things. Once again, DB Kids app and our back to school bash Zoom meeting. It's going to be August 16th at one o'clock. August 16th at one o'clock is going to be our back to school bash Zoom meeting. Anyways, guys, hope you have a good rest of the day, um, wherever this lesson, wherever, wherever you're hearing this lesson. And may God bless you and keep you guys. See you next week for our next lesson.